Hey guys, I'm back with another haul video and I have quite a number of the next new releases of fall candles from BBW, so like Midnight Amber Glow, uh, Sunrise Woods, all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested, then stay tuned. So yes, uh, thank you to everybody who joined my live last night. Oh my God, it was crazy. There was like a thunderstorm going on. Like the power like literally went out during the live, but I was still able to like, carry on with cell service while the lights were off and stuff. Oh my gosh, but thank you to everybody who joined on that. So I did do uh, the haul on there on my live. If you want to catch my live videos on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram at the Candle Channel. Uh, it's linked on my YouTube page and it's usually in the description below. So check me out there if you want to join in on our fun uh candle lives uh if i do them they're usually like a friday or saturday night so just uh keep putting that out there uh so yes without further ado let me get into it so the first uh candle we have which i was most excited for but not as excited now that i've burned it and smelled it is midnight amber glow right there this is the new body care release so the single fragrance launch that is coming out for i believe august um and this one reads smooth amber caramel latte and vanilla bourbon uh this one i had the core wicks i actually burned it once and it was a really slow uh, slow burn. Not, it wasn't doing so hot and it wasn't throwing very well either. But, has the gold lid on it. Um, yeah, this one's interesting. It kind of smells like, uh, vanilla nail polish mixed with, like, cocoa, brown sugar, and, like, a body care, like, latte fragrance. It's kind of what it smells like. It's not my favorite. It's a similar vanilla nail polish fragrance that Magic in the Air has, which is also very similar to, like, that kind of, like, vanilla body care nail polishy fragrance that comes through in oh god it used to be called Mercy Paris and then it was repackaged as Wisteria Garden which is also kind of similar to Cozy Cashmere which is Sunlit Cashmere which was also Sea Island Blossom so that type of like uh like sort of amber cozy vanilla fragrance but has like a slight like nail polishy component to it is what I get first and foremost in this and then it's mixed with heaps of like a like a sandalwood body care infused brown sugar cocoa and like a latte coffee type of fragrance and then it kind of reminds me of like the vanilla mocha cafe vanilla mocha cream type of like a coffee body care type of fragrance um yeah i get like brown sugar cocoa and like a implied like coffee latte note but it's not coffee and whiskey but it definitely has like a brown sugary caramely uh, cocoa component that kind of has like a body care like off drink type of fragrance kind of like the vanilla mocha cream vanilla mocha cafe thing so um that's kind of what i get from this uh yeah sort of warm and cozy uh but not really my favorite um i burned it last night and i really couldn't smell it and the performance was really slow and like took forever to pull out and it didn't even really make mushroom tops so i'm kind of concerned about that so we'll just see how this goes uh but not as enthused about it as i was when i first read the notes and everything so that's midnight amber glow there uh so it's definitely not a like direct interpretation of an actual like coffee fragrance there's definitely heaps of like a body care vanilla nail polish note in there so there was that and I don't believe I actually hauled this one, but since we're on the body care train, um, I had the Poppy candle. I already did a review on it, so you can see I have burned it, like, sort of to the mid-range point. That was Poppy right there. A super pretty packaging. has the black lid on it and the poppies all around. Uh, this is Fresh Morning Dew, Wild Poppy, Sugar Rhubarb, and Juicy Pear. Um, if you saw already my review on it, then you know it's kind of like run-of-the-mill, dime a dozen, BBW body care fragrance. So similar to Butterfly, so, which is also so similar to Open Sky. Kind of like a sweet pea vibe to it as well, but also has a lot of like a citrus fruity component from like Sunshine Mimosa, as well as like the pear notes from Midsummer Dream. Um, has that sort of like stone fruit type of like juicy apricot peach plus citrus type of fragrance uh, mixed with their like kind of like outdoorsy sweet clean springtime floral fragrance that you get from butterfly which is but also very similar to open sky as well which was technically a fall fragrance so if you like open sky butterfly sweet pea midsummer dream sunshine mimosa even kind of similar to the fruity floral of gingham uh check out poppy uh just medium throw um very take it or leave it so that was that right there and now i did a review on that one so there was that uh, moving on to some of the seasonal collections uh we have the pumpkin decor collection which is this right here uh it has like a cracked pottery look to it um and there's a little bit of texture on the actual fruits itself but it has a plain silver lid on it uh this one is juicy plum cinnamon apples and ground clove buds uh and this one has the thick rope like wicks as you can see right there um yeah this one's interesting uh, I was saying in my live video, it's kind of like an apple, like a spiced apple plum sangria or even like a spiced apple plum toddy. Uh, you definitely get a very juicy and bright plum. 
Uh, it's very juicy, uh, quite tart as well. Uh, it's all, 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 so tart, it almost comes off a little bit sour, uh, but then it's mixed with cinnamon and definitely like a uh, like a stewing, brewing cinnamon spice type of fragrance. Like I really think of a sangria where you have like the, an the anise chunks or whatever and the cinnamon sticks like shoved in the pitcher of the sangria or whatever. Uh, it smells a whole lot like that. I think of like a toddy or a sangria. There's a little bit of that sort of like fermentation to it in the sense that it is so tart or sour. Uh, it's similar to the way that leaves comes off which also gets repackaged as spice apple toddy. Uh, very much that type of fragrance. It comes off as like a drink for sure. Uh, and that's, it kind of has like a quenching liquidy feel to it mixed with the plum and the apple and the cinnamon so it really smells like a like spiced apple plum sangria or toddy uh kind of in like the leaves type of fruity spiced fermented drink fragrance is what i get from this uh yeah also slightly kind of like harvest pomegranate in that very fruity category but harvest pomegranate doesn't have any spices in it it's kind of like if you like the fruity juiciness of har harvest pomegranate but want a little bit of like a more spiced uh fall vibe to it then check out this it smells very strong on coal so we'll have to see how it goes i'm uh, normally not something i gravitate towards because i just don't normally care for fruity fragrances but I think these spices kind of make it a little bit more fall appropriate that I'm kind of willing to like dive into and see how it does, especially because it is a brand new fragrance as well. Uh, it's a sweet cinnamon plum right there. Uh, the next one we have is pumpkin vanilla creme right here. And that's what that looks like. This one actually has like a pearlized uh, finish on the label. Uh, and this one is creamy pumpkin, vanilla creme, fresh ground nutmeg, and graham cracker crust. This one has the thick rope-like wicks, as you can see right there. And... This smells a little bit different from years past. So if you recall, Pumpkin Vanilla Creme was actually originally the fragrance called Pumpkin Pie. And it came out as Pumpkin Pie many times. It had a graham cracker cr crust note in it with the like Pumpkin Pie filling and like the whipped cream type of feel to it. Absolutely excellent and awesome. And so it was out as Pumpkin Pie forever. And then it came out in a low profile candle called just Pumpkin Vanilla. And then it got repackaged as Pumpkin Vanilla Creme for many years. And if you recall, last year's one had the... I think it was the white barn court jar with the orange glass on it. It had a distinctly, and then it also came out as pumpkin pie and that like white and black like wraparound motif label kind of thing that they had going on uh, with a fox on it or whatever. Uh, it was in that collection as well. But both of those, last year's version, I don't know what happened. It had that dirty nachos, dirty ashtrays, like jalapeno chips kind of fragrance that was coming from the lid, but also somehow got incorporated into the wax as well, uh, especially on the top when you smelled it. So it was a turnoff for a lot of people. But in my experience, when I burned it, it didn't actually smell like that. So I don't think it actually interfered too much with the actual wax itself. Uh, but there was still a distinctly like slightly off feel to it that was different from the just awesome tried and true pumpkin pie that used to be out prior to that whole fiasco. And so I think it got such a bad rap last year that they might, might have cut, like slightly reformulated it this year because it doesn't smell quite the same as it used to um the it's still like 90 percent the same i'm just very being very nitpicky but i feel like the graham cracker crust note is not as strong or prominent as it used to be which the graham cracker crust note was what often had that sort of like crunchy jalapeno chips type of uh, nacho chips vibe to it it's not quite as strong there and the pumpkin just smells a little bit different it's like very similar but not exactly it so i don't know if they reformulated it purposefully to try to like wash out or negate all the like bad press last year's version got and it being so heavily like that weird dirty ashtrays nacho chips fragrance and maybe they toned down the crust note to kind of mitigate that and then obviously the lid does not smell like uh like fish or dirty ashtrays either so yeah but in any case Beyond all that, it still kind of smells like pumpkin pie filling. There's a creamy gooiness to it mixed with the usual pumpkin pie spices. Uh, it's not overly like cinnamony in like a craft store sweet cinnamon pumpkin type of way, but still has those like nutmeg and clove type of fragrances in there that still make it cozy and sweet and awesome. Um, and then just a, a very like a minimal amount of like a graham crackery crust note this year, but not as strong as it used to be. And I'm even picking up a little bit of like a like a citrus orange spice that just like brings it out a little bit uh, that I don't remember getting in years past. So it smells a little bit different, but it still smells kind of like a pumpkin pie is the best way to describe it. So that was my long winded explanation for pumpkin vanilla creme, but this one has a story history with last year's version. So I just really wanted to be exhaustive on it. So that was that right there. Uh, there's other candles in that collection that are pumpkin spice latte, which is a repackage of sweet tiramisu. So I don't need that. Uh, we have sweet cinnamon plum, 
pumpkin vanilla creme, white pumpkin, and white pumpkin oak wood is also coming back in that collection. So if you're interested in any of those, then uh, look out for that. Uh, the next collection that we have is this version uh, of candles with the square photo labels and the hammered gold lid. Uh, but they all have white wax, and these are $26.50. Uh, creamy sandalwood, sweet berries, and cozy cashmere and sunrise woods. This was a body care fragrance that's been out for a few years, I think, at this point. It's very similar to Twilight Woods, uh, is the word on the street. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Twilight Woods, so I don't really have an intimate memory of that to be able to compare to it. But this actually has a fish lid on it, believe it or not. So I was just talking to a sales associate about how we were like, oh, we're thank God we're past the fish lid phase, but we aren't because this one has that distinct fish lid. Brings me right back to, was it last year? Lavender and Bergamot had it. Um, Free and Sunshine Mimosa, the body care candle was the thing that kicked it off Mimosa smells. It's just like rancid fish, like fish oil. It's definitely in there. So this lid still has the fish lid on it. So just uh, keep that in mind. But so taking that off, it has the core wicks on it. Very warm, cozy body care fragrance that smells just like Sunrise Woods did. Very much in that snowflakes and cashmere, sweet whiskey type of route of that warmer, sort of creamy, uh, mature, cozy type of like vanilla infused, vanilla sandalwood, vanilla amber infused type of fragrance. Yeah, it's very light on cold. Um, kind of has like a silky cashmere quality to it. So if you like your like cozy cashmere, sunlit cashmere, see how it blossom type of fragrances, uh, then check this out. Yeah, not much too much to report on it. It was just a new body care fragrance and interesting to see it in candle form. So I was like, I'll try it this year. But it does have a fish lid, so just keep that in mind. At least my version. So that was Sunrise Woods right there. Uh, the next candle we have is Pumpkin Bonfire. And that's what that looks like right here. And has the same gold hammer lid on it. White Pumpkin, a bundle of clove bloods and glowing embers. Uh, it has the same like flat wicks that curl in on you. I didn't buy this last year, but I bought it the year it came out originally, which I think was right after COVID lockdown. So this always reminds me of like Corona era. Um, so yeah, this uh, is very much a like very rustic woodsy pumpkin spice type of fragrance. Uh, there's definitely a little bit of that, like that craft store vibe in here, but I think it leans a little bit more towards the white pumpkin candle than like, uh, like sweet cinnamon pumpkin, but still kind of reminiscent of pumpkin clove as well. Still has that sort of craft store quintessential pumpkin fragrance, but there is like a sharp, slightly men's cologne uh, woodsy rustic quality to it that reminds me a lot of evening hearth and then in the live video we were also talking about how that it kind of smells like autumn night as well as holly jolly christmas if anyone remembers that so that sort of like spicy woodsy sharp slightly men's cologne rustic quality to it uh mixed with your traditional like white pumpkin pumpkin clove type of uh pumpkin fragrance uh nice it's very much like an october november fragrance um it's kind of in a similar route as uh, Spice Pumpkin and Patchouli, but I think that one's heavier on the Patchouli for sure. And that one's also even more like craft store bam in your face strong with that like craft store uh, pumpkin fragrance. This one's a little bit more toned down, a little leans a little bit more towards the white pumpkin candle. Uh, but still a very nice like quintessential like October, November type of fragrance. So pumpkin bonfire right there. This one's gonna be really popular and it comes back every year, so it must still do very well. So that was the those two that I had in that collection. Uh, the rest in that collection include Bourbon Mabel, which is an online exclusive, Cider Lane, which is an online exclusive, Fresh Fall Morning, Harvest Pomegranate, Honey Crisp Apple, and Leaves. So those all have the square labels with the white wax on it. The next one we have is this collection and it's Cuddle Weather right here, which is the one new one in this collection. That's what that looks like. It has the gold lid. Uh, this one is warm gingerbread tea, cinnamon shortbread, and a cozy blanket. And yeah, this one it's not what you would expect cuddle weather to be. I always thought it would be like, it says a cozy blanket, so we would think like a cozy cashmere type of fragrance, something like that, like a little bit more body care leaning, like a fabric softener type of fragrance. Not at all like that. It's a full blown like gourmand, gingerbread, cinnamon, spice, vanilla during the winter type, winter time type of fragrance. Like this really heavily reminds me of like winter time. It's kind of weird that it's coming out in July. Uh, totally seems seasonally inappropriate. This is essentially a gingerbread candle in the middle of summer is what we're getting with Cuddle Weather. So yeah, it's very similar to, I was making some comparisons on my live yesterday to Sweet Rosemary Vanilla, which is very similar to Cinnamon Spice Vanilla slash Cinnamon Sugar Donut, which is that like sort of churro fried donut fragrance with a lot of the heaps of the cinnamon sugar in there. Very similar to that. I even get like a herbal note that's very reminiscent of the rosemary and Sweet Rosemary Vanilla. And Sweet Rosemary Vanilla had a slightly more... Uh, like lemony, rosemary, herbal zing to it when you go to burn it. That actually came out pretty strong mixed with the cinnamon spice vanilla blend. Uh, this one is very similar to that, but 
upon doing the two like side by side comparisons, both unburned, uh, Sweet Rosemary Vanilla definitely has a little bit more of that kick of that lemony rosemary herbal note to it. This one has a more of a crumbly, strong gingerbread note, similar to the gingerbread you would get in like spiced gingerbread or gingerbread marshmallow during the winter time. So if you like those two fragrances during the winter time, this is kind of like your July version of that. Uh, yeah, heavy on the gingerbread, uh, mixed with a little bit of a herbal note that reminds me a little bit of the rosemary and sweet rosemary vanilla. And there is a slight crunchy crumbliness that's coming from the shortbread, but it could also just kind of smell like a gingerbread cookie. So it's kind of like a gingerbread cookie fragrance, really, is what this smells like. Um, with a slight herbal tea note that's reminding me of rosemary, but it has that same cinnamon sugar, that cinnamon spice vanilla, cinnamon sugar donut has, same type of vanilla in there as well. It's like a gingerbread leaning cinnamon spice vanilla, cinnamon sugar donut type of fragrance. So kind of like gingerbread marshmallow got mixed with cinnamon spice vanilla. So yeah, um, I was a little bit more jazzed in the store about it, but when I brought it home, it smelled so similar to sweet rosemary vanilla and cinnamon spice vanilla that I was like, this is kind of redundant. And I just really don't see myself burning a gingerbread candle in the middle of July when it's like 90 degrees plus outside. So a little weird on that, but that's cuddle weather right there. Cute name though. So there's that. Um, and the other ones in that collection, I believe are all repackages. Uh, let's see. We have Fresh Balsam, Frosted Cranberry, uh, let's see, Marshmallow Fireside, Fresh Fall Morning, and Autumn, I believe, are the ones in there. So pretty much all repackages. So that's the only one new one. And there's also another collection of like Cozy Cashmere, Harvest Gathering, Sweater Weather, uh, and The Perfect Autumn is also coming out. Very pretty packaging on those, but all repackages, so I didn't need that either. Um, and then that leaves me with the very last candle that I have, which was a repurchase of Pumpkin Cinnamon Bun. If you watch my review on it, I was raving about this, and I was just literally like a Cinnabon with the frosting and everything, just the hype poppy high hot piping ooey gooey white liquid drizzle like frosting on top of a cinnamon bun and then like a little bit of the underlying cinnamon fragrance in there the cinnamon bun fragrance in there kind of has like a pumpkin pecan waffles sugar to snickerdoodle bakery vibe to it but a lot of the emphasis on that frosting this year and it's delicious so it's warm cinnamon roll pumpkin spice and vanilla frosting i like i'm almost done with my first one because i've just been burning it non-stop so pumpkin cinnamon bun was the other one i got right there uh so it was 13.50 Plus the uh, app had a coupon for 30% off, so it brought them down to like $9 and change. So pretty good deal there, especially because I was able to score some of the new ones. So that was that. Uh, I'll start burning them and try to do reviews on them. And then um, as a bonus, I have a few pocket bags to haul. And then I forgot to say in the beginning of the video, I have two homework candles that I found at Home Goods that I'll haul here real quick as well, just to tack it on. Uh, so for pocket bags, um, I got Be the Rainbow Rainbow Cereal right here. I've been really enjoying this one. Literally smells like the Rainbow Cereal candle which smells just like the key lime pie candle. And when you use the pocket bag, it smells literally just like key lime pie. It has that super, like, a dollop of, like, whipped cream mixed with the meringue gooiness of the key lime pie filling or even, like, a lemon meringue pie filling. Very much like that. Mixed with a either like a cereal note or a graham cracker crust note that would come from key lime pie. If you want literally just like a key lime pie, but also kind of rainbow cereal type of fragrance, uh, check this out. Really enjoying it, especially because this is kind of, like, Still a summer fragrance to me in the sense that it smells like key lime pie. So there's that. Uh, BWC Berry Waffle Cone is in a pocket bag, which I just did not realize. And I finally found it. So there was that. This is pretty strong and intense. I think this is like the body care interpretation of Berry Waffle Cone rather than the... Uh, the actual candle itself, but it still has that very like crusty cone note to it. It's a little cloying or over the top when you use it on your hands and you're walking around smelling like berry vanilla, berry waffle cone, but still fun and novelty that I was like, okay, let me get this, especially because I was able to use the 30% off on it. Um, and then I just wanted a quintessential fall one. So pumpkin apple and pocket bag is always so immensely strong. Oh my God, the spices in here are so intense, so much more intense than it is in the candle. That clove and the cinnamon in there is just like attacks you like crazy mixed with that pumpkin and apple blend whoa like if you want a really strong pocket back like it's it, it could like double as body care it's so strong so that's pumpkin and apple right there and that was my bbw haul let me just quickly go through some of my homeworks purchases uh so yeah homeworks has like three fall candles out at tj maxx home goods stores um it was funny because I went to my very local Home Goods one day and they did not have it. So I traveled 30 minutes out to a very far TJ Maxx like three days later uh, and they didn't have it. 
and then I backtrack and I'm like, let me check my very closest one that's like seven minutes away. Um, and bam, they had it, even though they didn't have it the, like just three days ago. So it's like, oh, I drove all the way out there for no reason just to come back to my very local store to find them anyways. But what was weird is the TJ Maxx across town did not have it. Uh, the Home Goods closest to me had it. And there's also a Marshalls like literally just like up the street. The Marshalls did not have it either. It was just the standalone Home Goods that had it but not the TJ Maxx's or the Marshall's. So kind of weird. I don't know what the, the thing was. Maybe they just put them out in shipment. So not all the stores have gotten them out yet. So it was just kind of like a, uh, like just coincidence or like luck timing type of situation. But in any case, there's toasted vanilla pumpkin, banana maple pancakes and golden harvest. I did not get golden harvest uh, because it smells just like a leaves type of dupe fragrance that I don't really care for. All through the house is very similar to leaves too. So is Fall Farm Sand, just that generic apple cinnamon uh, cider type of fragrance. So I really don't need that. But the one I was most excited for and that I was hunting for was Toasted Vanilla Pumpkin, which is uh, supposed to be a repackage of Amaretto Pumpkin that came out on QVC a few years back. But it came out as a duo, plus I had to do shipping on it, and I just didn't want to come into that, especially with all the issues that Homeworks has, that I'd rather just smell it in store and be able to buy it, buy it for $16.99 without shipping. So that is what I did. Uh, this one is Vanilla Cream, Spice Pumpkin, Cardamom, and Tonka Bean. I've burned this one actually quite a few times already, and that's what that looks like. It smells delicious. Unfortunately, it is very light, which is the issue with homeworks a lot of times. People always ask me, like, because there's always, like, you know, buzzings about the issues with homeworks. The issue with homeworks is the throw is very much light, like, much lighter than it, they were at their heyday in 2018 and their Golden Peak era. Uh, very much lighter. They've never been house fillers by any means, uh, even though the QVC presentations always hound on the fact that they're house fillers. These sometimes won't even fill a room, so the house filling claim is just totally bogus and just out there. Uh, they they have never been house filling ever in my experience um maybe if you live in a studio apartment they could be house filling but that's that would be a studio apartment filling not house filling a house would indicate like multiple standalone rooms so that's also kind of misleading too they've never been house filling so the the general like qualm with homeworks is that they're always very light and they seem to get lighter as the years go on rather than stronger which is contrary to what you would expect a business to do when they're getting feedback from consumers to improve their product uh i don't know if it's just production costs and just want to put less fragrance oils in there to amp up the profit margins that's the only thing i can think of uh and they can still get by and they probably still sell enough and their uh, return and exchange policy. Actually, I don't think they really uh, offer returns or refunds, do they, on their actual homeworks.shop website? And QVC is a rigmarole with shipping it back and everything. So I think the fact that they like sort of barrier off returns and refunds, or at least put a few hoops to get through it, uh, makes it easier to put out product that you might not be totally satisfied with because it's not as easy to return or refund so that's kind of the issue and it's not just me talking about this it's like all over the uh, like you know social media in terms of homeworks and their low throw issues and then they also have like performance issues with the wicks which is also kind of a shame considering the slatkin and homeworks brand has been around for like 30 years uh a lot of like detached wicks that float into the wax pool or they drift off to the sides or they nub out or like you'll lose a wick like by the mid-range point you'll have three wicks for the four wick diameter all that kind of stuff so i always get questions on like what are the issues with homeworks those are the issues with homeworks but uh the fragrances are still so good they're still like the usual like slacking and co awesome uniqueness and authenticity that a lot of us are still willing to put up with it despite all the issues they have and so that's why they can also kind of get away with the issues is because we still buy them because we're just like we're candle addicts so that's just kind of the the backstory with homeworks because i always get questions on that in like every single live that i do and people just kind of want me to talk about it so that's that's the just like totally objective viewpoint on the issues that homeworks has so there's that um but any case yes yeah, so this was Going back to that, still very light, like no more than a four or a five. It kind of like gets lost in an open concept area, but if you put it in a smaller bedroom, you can still smell it and it still smells delicious when you can smell it. So this was an Amaretto Pumpkin. So there is like a, like a nutty cardamom fragrance to it. Uh, it's like a spice that is different from all the other spices that you get in your pumpkin fragrances. It's like a nutty, like a, because it was supposed to be Amaretto. I guess there's a hint of like a nuttiness in there mixed with like a cardamom spice that's a little bit different and unique from all the other spices that we get. Uh, mixed with like a creamy, milky, almost like a whipped pumpkin, but the pumpkin is not overly craft store-ish or not overly obvious. It's more like a squash, like a gourd type of pumpkin. There's a very natural quality to it. Uh, and it's mixed with a a slightly toasty fragrance to it. There's like, you know, pumpkin seeds on the label 
And when you smell it, it does kind of evoke like toasted pumpkin seeds or something in the sense that there's a toastiness to it with a nutty component to it as well. And it just comes off as this overall like could be bakery, could not be bakery type of fragrance. Like I'm not sure toasted vanilla pumpkin is still the right marketing for this. Uh, an amaretto pumpkin, I would imagine a little bit more almondy amaretto to it, but it, like this could potentially be a bakery fragrance. Like it could be called like pumpkin cardamom crumble or something. And like that would still make sense for this. There's still kind of like a muffin-y, slightly bakery like cozy quality to this as well but it could also be in the sense that it's so whipped and creamy it could be like like pumpkin amaretto flan or flan or whatever like that like the sort of like pudding treat it could be kind of like that too I think this could be marketed in very different ways uh, I just don't know if they've nailed the actual name on this yet because I don't know if toasted pum vanilla pumpkin quite accurately re represents this either it's so much more unique than what that would imply so it could be like a flan fragrance it could be like a muffin fragrance um but I don't think it's super strong on the amaretto either to even this they'd be called amaretto pumpkin. But I think that's still a little bit more intriguing than something basic like toasted vanilla pumpkin. But there was that. Still a very delicious, unique, just there's something very cozy and scrumptious about it that you can't quite put in words just because it's so unique and different from everything else out, out there on the market. It just sucks that it's lighter than I would hope for, but it's just kind of the par for the course with homework scandals. So that's that right there. Uh, then we have Banana Maple Pancakes, which is the tried and true. I love this one. It came out in the very first release in 2017. It's been one of my favorites ever since then. I try to buy it with every iteration that it comes out. The Ulta version uh, that I had when it came out, about, out in like maybe 2020 or something was quite weak and lighter than the original version. I think this one's actually a little bit stronger. So this one's a little bit more improved than the Ulta version. Uh, super juicy, like, uh, refreshed label where the pump, the pancake, uh, images are much bigger than they used to be. Uh, this one is mashed bananas, whipped milk, melted butter, vanilla extract, and fluffy pancakes. This and Enchanted Peony are my two favorite fragrances from Homework, so I was very happy to see it. I have already burned it. Mmm, this is awesome. It's so good. If you like banana fragrances, you have to check this out. It's like the, probably the most like authentic banana you'll get. It's like mashed bananas that kind of smell warm or cooked. Um, and it's not like that super artificial runts banana you get from BBW or that super candied banana. There is like a warm mashed bananas quality to it that is pretty authentic. It, it's not too uh, like disgustingly candied or runts-ish. So that's what I really enjoy about the banana in this. And it's just completely soaked and drizzled in a heaps of caramel and maple. The caramel and maple come off so strongly. It's like a banana caramel fragrance. It's pretty much what you're going to get from this or a banana maple fragrance. So it could be any like banana maple caramel dessert out there. Uh, but a heavy caramel maple fragrance that evokes pancakes. There's not a super overly like golden waffle pancake batter type of like griddly green see uh like bakery note to it it's more so the emphasis on the banana maple and caramel but it smells delicious like it just literally smells like bananas that have been kind of like sort of warmed up on a pan and then you have maple and caramel drizzled all over it and it's so delicious just an excellent like uh morning breakfast candle mm, delicious uh this one was, was more like a six to a six and a half rather than like the four that i was getting on the ulta version uh so closer to the original version that we had uh so really enjoy this fragrance uh high recommendations on that especially for 16.99 at tj maxx without uh shipping all about it so that's banana maple pancakes right there and that was my long-winded homeworks a uh, bit there and that is pretty much it thanks so much for watching let me know if you're excited for any of these candles i'll try to do reviews on them and go from there and i'll talk to you guys later bye